VC, how are we? Thanks for tuning in again. Today's video is a contest entry for the one, the only, Andrew Tails in the Crate. Um, you know, a lot of videos at the moment going around for contest entries. Echo everybody's uh, sentiments. Great guy, genuine, amazing knowledge, amazing collection. He's, um, you know, he's quite humble and he's keen, he's got that that hunger and that thirst to learn more. And, you know, I think he's come with a lot of knowledge and an amazing collection. Um, but I think he's, you know, and, but I think on the VC, someone like that, like Andrew, who comes with a lot of stuff already, he's still getting turned on to a lot of stuff new stuff and you know and that's great that's that's part of the thing it's a global collaboration this vc isn't it and we're sharing all our love cheers cup of tea not quite 12 o'clock so all right so 10 genres um so show them and i'm going to try and do a needle drop on each of them all right here we go broad strokes doesn't have to be he's not too regimented you know here we go Ah, nice. The guy starts his lawnmower. We're going to carry on. Get out of there, mate. Anyway, <laughs> um, Fairport Convention. Folk genre. I mean, I've sort of never really give, given these guys a go. Um, I, you see them around a fair bit, but I don't know. Nothing really grabbed me. And then I, I actually ended up finding this one for, you know virtually nothing so give it a go and I really dig it it's that English it's, they're synonymous with the English folk scene um, just sound very English and Great Britain and British Isles and like and Irish sort of feel they've got a fiddler and they play a lot of traditional music and have their sort of I don't know their take on it basically so really nice stuff um, I like the Fairport Convention I haven't really heard any of the other albums. I think The Leaf and something that's called, that's quite a classic album. Um, this one's the, the Bonnie Bunch of Roses. So I'll play you a track. So each one I'll just play a track. I'll write it in during the song what the track is because I haven't quite decided which track I'm going to play yet. So anyway, that is Folk. Punk, one of my a grail for me. The Sunny Boys, absolutely love this. This is not the actual proper cover. This is what I put together. Uh, I clearly didn't pass at art at school, um, but yeah, I mean it was basically just the inner sleeve, um, and I just used a cover from a some crappy album and just <laughs> put together something. But that is the official color there. Power pop, post punk, as I said in '81. Uh, this is actually um, VCLT from Grandma. Not my grandma, like everybody's grandma. Um, love this. Always love this. Um, there's a song on here. Um, oh my god. Let's <laughs> have a block. Um, where are we? Uh, I'm having an absolute shocker. Oh, Alone with You. Um, it's, an abs it's probably one of my favourite songs ever. I've loved that song since it ever came out. Absolutely love it. Um, alone with you, but I won't play that one. I'm going to play you probably Happy Man, so that'll be over there in a second. Man, that's genre two. 
All right, going now to some heavy metal. This is Manila Road. Now this is something that I learnt from some of the metal heads in the VC. I think like Aaron, metal theologian. He mentioned this band's name and they're quite expensive to get really, but um, I was online just having a look and I found this EP, um, Underground. Heavy metal. I'm not sure how if you know these guys, Andrew, or if many people out there know them. Um, sort of in this in this um, late 70s, 80s, um, had several albums. Um, and great, great heavy metal stuff. Um, it's definitely a band to look into if you want to just get a bit more heavy metal in your collection. Something, you know, probably not as well known. I'm going to probably play Herman Hill, which is... Um, Probably the first song that they um, got famous for. This is actually recorded in 79, but I don't think it actually came out till This might even be like a 2016 or something like that. Um, so, so happy when I scored that online. Uh, I won't show you the labels because you can just see them on the turntable as they spin. All right. We have got Cow Punk, the Johnnies. Oh, so happy that I got this. Now this is actually a gift, uh, like records given to me for some friends, uh, Chris and Bree, and thanks to her dad, um, Steve Tatum. Um, I'll be looking after this very well. This is, I didn't know what it was and looked into it when I got it, and this is Cow Punk basically. Really cool stuff. Um, great gatefold there. Um, what year was this? This was... Ooh, ooh. What are we going to do? What are we going to say? I will write it as the song spins around. Um, it's probably side one is a bit more rocky with a little bit of country. And side two turns in a bit more punky with some punk songs. Um, and some country songs, and I'll try and get probably Mountain Men's the most um, representative of the cow punk sort of um, mixture. There, there's a guy on here, the Spencer J. Um, Jones, Spencer P. Jones. Sorry, he's a Kiwi guy, and he's um, looking into him a bit more and hearing from some somebody uh, um, I work with. He is a bit of a legend, really. So Spencer P. Jones, he. He actually did a lot of stuff with uh, Paul Kelly, the great Australian singer-songwriter. Um, and he and himself is a great guitarist and um, songwriter himself. And great musician. So, really cool. It's a great cover there. I love that. The Johnnies. So, I'll put that on for you at the back. This one's called Highlights of a Dangerous Life. <laughs> Going to a bit of um parsley underground. Alright, parsley underground? I think so. <laughs> um yeah. Jangle pop, as Hannah would say. Jangle, jangle pop, basically a mix of rock and punk. The Dream Syndicate. This is probably their biggest album, The Days of Wine and Roses. I got this actually, uh, I went to a, a guy's house recently and Got some records, and this was sitting there, like, I think $15 for this, and this is great stuff. Um, I'd heard of Dream, Dream Syndicate before, but I hadn't really had any of their stuff, so... <sighs> Cut my son made for me. Thanks, Ollie. Um, love it. Yeah, this is really cool. It's a jangle pop, and this came out in 
continue on the slash records do that I think, or rough trade that sort of associated with that punk sort of scene as you say you'll see the label on the table Still going. Um, clearly, John May will have shown this recently. Blues from the Laurel Canyon. This is just smooth blues. I say, oh, I just love it. Love this album. There's a lot of great songs in here. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to put on, but I'll let you know when it's on the table. Great stuff on the Decker. Mick Taylor, Pre Stones on there, and this came out in 60, this is like, I will put the dates on, I think this is like 60, 68, but could be, we'll probably aim wrong. Alright, that was class as Blues. Okay, classical now. Don't see a lot of classical shown in the VC. Um, I don't have a lot of it. I don't know a lot about it. So I don't know much about it. But um, this is one that I love. Stravinsky. Stravinsky, that's how you say it. Stravinsky, the Russian composer. This one's The Writ of Spring. This is a great piece. I think it's a ballet. Um, I think about Russian gypsy. Something to do with that and then rival rival gangs when this came out um i think he left russia and went to france in the states i believe when this came out there's actually um um what year was this it was 1913 <laughs> so it's over 100 years old that's amazing isn't it and it's beautiful um uh, as, as a classical piece it's great it's actually a riot when this was um staged in paris um, so that was the old school mosh, mosh pits. They'd be shaking their heads at the modern mosh pits these days. This is nice, very dramatic stuff. I think I did read somewhere they said, oh, how long does this dramatic music last for? And, and he said, till the end. <laughs> of the vinyl got three CDs after this um, this is probably one of the albums of the year for me um, discovery and I love it psychedelic rock surf rock this is Taman Shad evolution oh, I absolutely love this sorry about the glare this is still in the shrink rack now I didn't actually have this um, vinyl version tool only recently I bought the CD and I found these guys not from directly from someone in the VC, but basically, you know, being the VC help makes you explore more, search, get that Sherlock Holmes, private investigators sort of thing, just to track down what the, where, where this came from. And just through all that searching of different stuff, I came across these guys. This was um, made in 1969, so the peak sort of, you know, psychedelic, psychedelic, idyllic, I'm idyllic, um, period. 
and this is, I just love this album. Now, I've shown this before, and I really like to hear anyone's, Andrew's, and lots of other people's feedback, what they think about this. First song actually starts a bit Beatlesque, and then halfway through it, the bass kicks in, and uh, and it's just a great, as they surf rock, psychedelic rock. Evolution is a, um, is a surf movie by a filmmaker, I think his name is Paul Witz, Witzig, or something like that. And he asked these guys to do the music for it. And when they finished the music and some sort of the, the pay, the money they had, or sort of the benefits of doing that, he let them stay in the studio for a few extra hours and then they cut this album, um, do some extra strongs and cut this. So this was probably made in about two, two, two three hours. Oh, it's just great stuff. Please give this a go and let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. OGs go for 100 bucks plus. This was not that expensive as a new release, and this actually came from the States, like $30 or something like that, obviously not cheap, but, you know, shouldn't break the bank too much. Yeah, I really dig this. They've got a couple of albums, or they've got a, maybe four, and they've actually had one release, release recently. The second album, Ghoul of Trees or something like that, it's, it goes for over $1,000. This one is better, I reckon. Um, this is a great album, Evolution, Tim and Shud, so that's psychedelic rock. CDs now because I don't have the vinyls. Let's go. You don't see this guy <laughs> mentioned much. He's a super pop, a pop superstar, really. Uh, he's a, he's a great entertainer, and you know, but he went a little bit off, sort of a uh, shoot, and did a, a swing album. So this is Swing, Robbie Williams. Um, swing when you're winning. When this came out, this was 2000 and. 2001, I think I had a look, yep, before, yep, 2001, yeah, I love this album when it came out, and, you know, I don't spin it much, but I will think I will spin it again soon, but a bit of swing for you, they're all covers, and I think Frank Sinatra's on there, but Robbie Williams, sw swing when you're winning, yeah, I dig it. Up until you hear from me, pay no attention to what I said. Why people tear the seam of anyone's dream It's over my head Do nothing till you hear from me Alright, genre 9 Skunk Hour I've shown these guys before as well Some Australians from Sydney, a couple of brothers I think this is like 94 uh, One of their biggest albums called Feed Class acid jazz. I'd probably call it class it like a hip hop rock, but I'm not sure if that's a genre. Really cool stuff. I will put a track on you on for you clearly. Probably the most famous song is "Up to Our Necks in It." Check that out. Skunk out. Up to Our Necks in It. What a great song. Probably not the most sort of uh, representative of what they do, but I'll put another track on. But I will let you know. And And last but definitely not least, this is another one. This might get me to disqualify this one. Um, this is a band called Nebula. Uh, to the centre. Now, I just found this at the Thrifty not that long ago. Um, I have seen this cover before. Someone's shown it on the VC, but I can't remember who. And this is just hard rock. Stoner rock, hard rock. Really cool stuff. Why it might be get, get me disqualified is because when I opened it up, they did a great cop, great um, effort with the cover in the back, but it's a burnt copy, but still the same anyway. And it sounds great. 
Nebula. If you don't know this, check them out. Stoner Rock, Hard Rock. And I will play your track, probably Clear Light with this one. <laughs> That is it. I'll put the well, all the the drop needle drops should be within this. So this is actually the end of the video. So Andrew, great guy. We love having you on the VC. You, know, you bring so much entertainment and so much knowledge and just passion. All right. Okay. Take care.